This week is National Volunteer Week. It's a time to recognize the more than 12 million Canadians who volunteer their time and energy to help others. We all see the volunteers who are helping out at big events in our communities, things like music festivals or sporting events, but there are thousands of other people who rely on volunteers to help them with everyday tasks. A news reporter Louise Hartland has the story of one such unsung hero. Three days a week, Laureen Matheson dedicates her life to others. Hi, how are you today? I'm oh, good, how are you? Good, I'm fine, thanks. Oh, good. Today, she is picking up Miriam to run errands, something she does every week with Saanich Volunteer Services Society. I drive people to appointments and take people shopping and do whatever is needed. Miriam says life would be different for her without people such as Laureen. It would probably be pretty dismal, I mean, in terms of... There's a lot of people that do paid jobs, but there's a lot of, how would you be able to get drivers to, I mean, I'm just thinking, how would I be able to get drivers to take me shopping and to wait with me and to do, you know, customer service and to help? There's quite a, there's quite a wide range that they cover. And Miriam is not alone. People from all walks of life call for help. Close to 1,000 people living in Saanich rely on Saanich volunteers to help them with everyday tasks. Collectively, 300 people donate up to 12,000 hours a year in volunteer time. The feedback is, I don't know what I'd do without you. Um, your volunteers are so wonderful and helpful and um, I, I just don't know how I would get around if I didn't have your help. But more volunteers are needed. This morning, our very own Bruce Williams and Mel Cooper kicked off Volunteer Week in Victoria at the A Studio, a room full of dedicated volunteers with a goal to inspire. This is to encourage volunteering at a younger age out in the elementary schools, but it's also a time for us to say thank you to all of the volunteers in our community. Why volunteer? Oh, uh, because it just feels good. Um, it's immediate payback, it's uh, immediate gratification, um, it, it takes you outside yourself, it just feels really good to help someone else. That's just one of the reasons Laureen does this. It's fabulous, great people. Really is that nice. your favorite part of the job? It is, it is. Traffic's not my favorite part of the job, <laughs> but the people are my favorite part. After years of help, Miriam considers Laureen a friend, one she knows she's lucky to have. I think it takes a special person to do those types of things. Not everyone is up to that. But it's making a difference in her life, all because Laureen chose to give some of hers. Well done, Louisa. Now you mentioned in your story that there's a big need for more volunteer help. Tell us about that. That's right, Hudson. The Saanich Volunteer Society says it needs more drivers, but there are a num number of other activities people can do as well gardening, home maintenance, tax preparation, or even just a friendly phone call. If you're interested in giving some of your time, visit SanichVolunteers.org. All right, Louise Hartland reporting. Louise, thank you.